Three, two, one. Hello! I'm Sharissa and I'm 15. I'm Ezra and I'm 11 years old. I'm Kath and this is Sophie and we're both 10 years old. Today we'd like to talk to you about some of our top 10 stories from Gabon and Congo. So, of course, we have to start with... Bacon! It's the top one, that's why we start with it, because I love bacon. Yeah, yeah. So, whenever we travel, um, we go to England, and before we go back to Congo, our mum's always ringing about getting cereal and Herbs toys. Because you yes. can't get them. Congo. So she was looking on Amazon for bacon. Thank you, Mummy. You're really so kind nice. of giving us treats. So nice. So she was scrolling up and now, where's all the bacon? She's thinking. And then finally, there was the bacon. Oh. Dried bacon. Dried. Yes. Dried bacon. That's what we want. We want to take it to Congo. <laughs> Going to click the order. And then, what is that? Right down there at the bottom, there was a bone. A bone. <laughs> a bone? Why would you want a bone at the bottom of the package? Oh, because it was dog food. Mummy <laughs> was about to give us dog, dog food. food to eat. <laughs> we should have. She should have kept it for our dog if we get one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's also a market where we live, which is, has got meat, and Mummy really doesn't like it because it's really unhygienic. The meat is out on wooden tables, there's no electricity, which means no fridge, it stinks, <laughs> and there's lots of flies everywhere, lying on the meat, just chilling out. <laughs> and so, we like to play this game called Guess the Meat, because we like going there, because we always have to guess the meat, so what kind of meats do we have there? We have uh, snake, yeah, we have gazelle, and Ezra's other favourite meat? Porcupine. Because? It's the only meat that comes with two fixed. Yep, and fish. No monkeys. chickens, monkeys, bats, I've already said crocodile, and yeah, so I love animals, we all love animals, but I know I'm definitely not a vegetarian. Shame. When I was, <laughs> when I was about two years old, we, uh, my mum and I went to a funeral, and it was a funeral of a village chief, so it was very solemn, very sad, everyone was crying, and then, suddenly, out of nowhere, I, as a two-year-old, come running out, two pigtails, like Minnie Mouse, running out, following a chicken. <laughs> Find it! Hold it! Kill it! Eat it! And everyone, I'm not sure what everyone did, I think they were just shocked. But I was saying it in English, thankfully, so no one understood me because I all spoke French. Yeah, so much for being born in the, uh, the chicken. Yeah. So chickens, what else, Kess? Our daddy's an eye surgeon and his patients usually give him presents to thank him for helping them. And we're also homeschool because the schools around here aren't very good. So we also enjoy <laughs> doing homeschool because the animals come and all the time they always come and inter interrupt us and then we just stop. And then usually we leave the, the front door open because to let the fresh air in. And then for some reason, one of our chickens cool. called Honey kept going to my bed. And we were like, why is she going in our bed? And then um, later, a few days later really, we went to look behind. We were looking around and we looked behind my bed and you guessed it, there were two eggs in it. So we, we just got the eggs out and made hot boiled egg. Very yummy. Really good. It was a shame. Yeah. Really and nice. Ezra now has tips for kids who live with animals. Okay. If you live on a farm and you're Or you pig, have animals. Yeah. Or, or you have a pig or a guinea pig or a dog. Well, not really. If you have animals. If you have animals that you're and they are edible on the market. Forget it if it's a dog or cat. If you give it a name, <laughs> then it won't get eaten. So give your pet's name so they don't get, get eaten. eaten. That's why she gave me the name. Okay, in case people think mommy and daddy are weird, it's because normally the patients give yeah. us animals, animals to be eaten. And then they get upset when like we don't. And so we say, now it's got a name, therefore... No eating. eating. Mm -hmm. the name so we've saved it. lots of people's, yes, lots of animals' lives by giving them names. We saved a good job, we've told yeah. the world. <laughs> so, 
So one time, uh, another story about animals, the insect kingdom. Once during the morning, we woke up to find like thousands Millions. of arms. Like, and, like, like this. Like that. That's that more, one. but they when all together, they're like... The kitchen huge. was like this wide. Yeah. And they as were all wide as your houses. Yeah. And so... They were up. The up walls, the walls, on the, the tables, sink. in the sink, yeah. so we couldn't do anything. So, mommy and daddy tried to get rid of them, insecticides, like insecticides water. water, tried, nothing worked. They just kept coming for like three days. And so, we decided we had to do something about it, because we had to. <laughs> so, we held our hands together, and we walked up to the ants, <laughs> and we said, hello ants. We like you, but we don't want to have you here because it's getting a bit too much. We have authority, which was authority to us, because we're little. We have authority over you, so please leave. And then we went away. Please. And then we went away. Thank you. And then we went away. And they did it. They were yeah. They didn't. They didn't come back. And they said we'd be delighted. <laughs> Kids rule. <laughs> and so Karis has a lot of funny sayings that she likes to say. So we used to get lots of power cuts. So yeah. Or even just like the thunder that we hear just now. Um, yeah. That's the thunder brewing over us. And when there's thunder, there's often electricity. Oh, yeah, cut, isn't that, it? yeah. But so, I remember about the the cockroaches. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the cockroaches. So don't one forget night, the cockroaches. We're reading the Bible, and then my mm -hmm. mommy screams. <laughs> So they came running up. Oh, what happened, Doctor? What happened? <laughs> and then I um, was like, Oh, they were just cockroaches. And our dad no, like, they were not just cockroaches. The cockroaches were on my body. That's a fine thing. And, and then our dad was like, I didn't hurt her. I didn't punch her. I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's and not then, why I was screaming. Then they left. That was pretty embarrassing that they heard me they five minutes away. They the were the hospital field. guards. Oh, man. And so, but Karis does have funny sayings. Rush fish bin, how refreshing. Yeah, and but when we have electricity cuts, Cass used to think we had switched them off on purpose because it was someone's birthday. So she would always say, Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> and then when we have to get something done here, people are normally very relaxed, they take their time. <laughs> so when we ask them for something to get done, they're like, Oh, I turned this evil player, which means wait, please. But Karen's I didn't thought it understand was, that. So. I thought it was a person. <laughs> so I just kept saying, wait, mommy and daddy, here's Monsieur Attendu. I don't like him. He's holding everyone back from doing their work. <laughs> Attendu means wait. Yeah. And it always happens at the airport. They're always yeah. telling me. I don't know. I don't know how to go. I don't know <laughs> And then one time we got chocolate, which is like, gold basically because we can never get it we have to bring it from abroad so Karis one time when she got her chocolate it took her 45 minutes 55 almost an hour to eat like a tiny bar of chocolate like that just an hour as soon as she has to finish that as quickly as that we're gonna go to bed <laughs> and Karis just took her time an hour enjoying her sweet chocolate and then Ezra uh, dentist. Yes. Dentist story. Power cuts as usual. Kara saying, Happy birthday to you. Me, I was running around the house when the power went off, and bang! I slapped my two front teeth against the corner of the table, and my two front teeth had gone up, and my parents were afraid that it would have damaged my adult teeth. So, um, luckily and thankfully, a Canadian doctor who had just arrived that day, oh. Dr. Look, who was a dentist, looked at my <laughs> teeth and it was and, he, and I had a dental operation. Yeah. 
And it was especially amazing because in all the years we've been in Africa, there's never, never been, been a dentist. dentist. Yeah. And, and Ezra thought he was going to the moon when he had surgery. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the anesthetic, yeah. yeah. Right, right. We yeah. pretended that you were going to the moon instead of going to surgery. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was two years old, mummy, daddy and I, we went to the US for another speaking tour. And so when we went there, there was a lady and she asked, would you, your daughter like to have a violin? I've got a 116th, which is like really for like two years and she was like would you like to have it and mommy was like uh, no. No. because I can't play and there's no teachers like anywhere in the rainforest and so she was like but we would like to, for her to have a look at it so like she knows what it is so then we went to go see it and I said I want, I want, it. I want to play it I want to play it and so we we're like okay and mommy was like oh it's probably just a little girl thing like she'll grow out of it but no, I did not. So I asked her, can I play the violin? And then she would say, go play the recorder then. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. And then she would ask, and then I asked again, can I play the violin? Guys, you say, what did you say? Uh, why didn't you play the piano? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I asked one more time, can I play the violin? And then she was like, why didn't you play about it? <laughs> and so I, would, I prayed for five years. And every time mummy heard me, she started. She wasn't so emotional. And <laughs> too much. Yeah. I just felt bad that you, you were missing out because I'm such a nice mum. Yeah. And I was and emotional. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, when we were in Infondo... I just felt bad I couldn't give it to you because if I were in England or Hong Kong, I would have to give it to you. Okay, carry on, carry on. It's your show. <laughs> so, um, when we were in Infondo, Mummy was like, Hey, Sharissa, I need to measure your arm. I was like, measure my arm? Like, what? I was like, oh, okay. Maybe she's like making a dress for me. Like, Mummy's so nice, right? So she's like, yeah. obviously making a dress for me. Because we don't really have clothing shop. Yeah. You have to make your own. And so she measured me and then the a, 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 a group of visitors arrived and they one of the ladies had a case with her. And I was like, why don't you go open it? Because it's yours. And inside was... <laughs> and so the lady who had brought it um, used to teach Suzuki violin to other children. So she was a nurse and she was coming to work for a year in the hospital so she also helped teach me and so after she left I self-taught myself and then I went to a two year no two weeks <laughs> two, for two weeks for two years I went to a summer camp in the Hamptons in the USA and how then did you afford it oh. a scholarship oh. Oh. God, is good. God is good yeah and then, so now I have a combined academic and music scholarship to my boarding school in the UK, and I go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so, but God always takes care of us, right, Cass? Yeah. Even when we are stuck in the mud. That stuck video, that was so funny. Mud. Daddy? Wouldn't it be funny if we got stuck in the mud? No, 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 it's not funny. Don't say that. It's not funny. <laughs> Mummy, yeah. If you're stuck here, we're stuck. <laughs> Tell our viewers what you mean by stuck in the mud. You mean your feet stuck no, in the mud? So the car. The car. If the car gets stuck in the mud, we are stuck and we can't go anywhere. And why would your car get stuck in the mud? Is your dad a terrible driver? No, no. no. He's the best driver that I've known. Wow, compliments. And no, it is true actually. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> the paved, but there aren't really any paved roads, so they're dirt modes and they're and the dirt roads. roads. So and then and when it rains, the then it gets muddy and yucky and then everyone gets stuck. There are very strange bridges as well, yeah. Yeah. like the piano bridge. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they're made of plants. They're made of plants. So, a long story. But one time when we were driving from the economic capital to the capital, we asked people, oh, is the road okay? Will it be fine is if we okay? drive there? Everyone was like, yeah, 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 don't worry. Yeah. So okay, we were like, okay, so we drive. And it was good for the first part. First and then, part. Yeah, first part. And then suddenly we got to this region 
called the Pool Region. The Pool, not Pool. Pools. <laughs> okay, okay, Pool Region. P O O L. Okay, don't no. get mixed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that region was known for its armed rebels. So, they uh, are armed, obviously, with AK 47s, yeah. and they terrorized the area. So, you can only travel there before 5 o'clock. And you can only drive with a group of vehicles to make sure you're all safe. But we arrived there after five o'clock. No, 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 we got there before got there five o'clock. But there was no convoy with us. Yeah. Nobody else was so coming. So no, so we waited, waited, and then it went after five. Oh, they got there. And then we were like, oh no, what are we going to do? Because we have to go back. Please. So they were like, oh, there's this colonel that needs to go back to the capital, Brazzaville. So. You can take him. He has an AK-47. Yeah. Well. So he had an AK-47 that kept bumping against the front of the car. <laughs> the dashboard, yeah. Yeah. So then he left marks there, which we now call our... Battle scars. Yeah. So we drove there. We drove. It's okay. Bumpy. <laughs> and then suddenly... Boom! We're stuck. We got stuck. Not flat tire. Stuck. In the mud. So... In the middle of the area. Daddy started digging. And then we'd start and we'd get and then we'd stop and then start again and then stop. And so we kept going throughout the night. And so Daddy asked the guy to watch while we were dig while he was digging. And then the guy was like, Are you sure do you not need me to dig? And Daddy was like, You watch, I dig. So was he asking to look out? So he was asking him, uh, the colonel to watch out for the armed robbers because he didn't want us to be attacked. And so we kept going until early in the morning and then Mario was like, okay, you have to stop for a bit. So then we all got back in the car to wait for the morning. And, you and then suddenly, Karis um, woke up around 3am <laughs> in the morning. Gotcha. And can we play the Barbies? Karis, it's 3am in the morning, go back to bed. Ezra, what are the ninjas wearing? What do you think the ninjas are wearing? Karis, oh, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Ezra, I think the ninjas would like to play Uno. <laughs> oh, so the next morning we got out of the car and we saw these guys who were also stuck in the mud. And Mummy was like, oh, are you guys waiting for someone to come help you guys? We've been here for two weeks. No one's going to get you. No one, no never. One. No one is going to come. But then suddenly, out of Angel nowhere, appeared with a white shirt. Oh! So, boy, <laughs> no, no. so a man came with a white shirt, and he got to and so he to do stuff. Them. He helped do lots and lots of things, and then suddenly, <laughs> we were out. We were out. And so we managed to travel safely back to Brazzaville for and the Barbies. And dropped, <laughs> and dropped off the military dude. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're very thankful to him. And so, how else have we travelled? Because uh, we live so remotely. Plane cancelled the Most of the time you can't get out of the city. And so, possibly you either take your car with you sometimes and obviously you can get stuck. But the other way is boat. Three weeks without toilet on a boat. Nice. Uh, maybe you have to do it in the We water. do not recommend that. Please. Don't Thank swim you. If you visit, Please do not do the following. This is a transportation mm -hmm. warning. <laughs> and so the most suitable one is if you take an airplane. Uh, but sadly, it, sadly, before, um, like a few years ago, they were very bad and they were like, so oh, sorry, the plane's about you will cancel. Oh, oh please, the, 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 the captains, the, the team's on strike, sorry. So cancel. Uh, cancel. Always cancel. And then um, one, one time we were coming home from church because we were traveling back to England. But we couldn't. Yeah, we had a plane to catch in the capital, yeah. but we couldn't. The plane kept yeah. canceling yeah. to go to the capital. So we were like, oh, come on. And then we were coming home from church. We were all sweaty from Sunday school. <laughs> we were coming home. All of a sudden, the fam a couple came and told us, there's a private jet that's just came and he's willing to take you. So we're like, yes, let's go our bags, stop the stuff, stuff and then take a shower, and <laughs> <laughs> get the cars out, and we're back in pack the car, get out, out to the airport, okay, and then we get there, and then we get all the stuff in the aircraft, and we took off, and like, well, the president, we're in a private Cessna, yeah, we're so special, and then, 
we were coming on the runway and then there were lights all around and we're like, whoa, we're like, take your picture, take your picture, hey, you're getting in the way, take the picture, take the picture, hey! And then we had the plane touch down and then afterwards we got there, we got into this nice white car. Yeah, to take was, us back to the airport. We actually aircon. We had aircon. We had aircon. <laughs> Mommy, did you hear that double underline? Aircon. Air <laughs> and I said, how refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, guys, so there's your top 10 favorite stories. Yes. And it was hard to choose those stories, wasn't it? Yes. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And so let me ask you, people like to find out how they can pray for you. Yes. So would you like to tell us some or share some of your prayer requests with us? Yes, Sophie. Yes, Sophie? Me, me. I think that lots of you guys should come here because it's a lot of adventure. And I think your children, if you have any, will like it. Yes, please come and visit us. Okay, your prayer request that they will pray that they can come. Yes, yes. yes. good. Okay, that's from Sophie and Paris, correct? Yes. All right, for well, visitors, and because we do need a lot of people to come help visitors or even come join our team. Yeah! yeah. Please get a medical degree. <laughs> <laughs> Just medical degree or anything. what else do we need? We need anything. What, what do we need? Dentists. Cooks. Yeah, cooks. cooks. <laughs> okay, dentists, engineers. Yeah. Managers, finance people, builders, yeah, uh, DIY man, maintenance people, yeah, drivers, you name it, we got it. Cool. Craft clowns, <laughs> magicians, and cool pros. <laughs> pros. All right, but most of all, you just want the kids. Yes. yes. Okay. Kids. All right. Um, or big kids. Adults got big kids. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's Paris's request that we have. Request? People come help What's us and join us and money. <laughs> Sorry, it, it, not like in the, not in the rude way. Like give me the money, but like the money, <laughs> but like but like the money that we can use to help more people for the construction of the new eye hospital. Yes, and to help the patients too. <laughs> Happy times, <laughs> magical times. <laughs> and so our final one would be that we can get a guard dog. Because we'd be delighted. <laughs> because there are lots of people here who don't have anything, so they've been going into other people's houses, and yeah, it's really it sad. Is. But we would <laughs> really like a guard dog to protect us. So please pray for that too, and that it will come back. Oh yeah, months. mommy. Don't just to change your mind, because remember we had that burglar last month. Yeah, and so we really need a guard dog, okay, mommy? Mommy. <laughs> okay. okay, moving on. If someone asked you to give me a one-word summary or two-word summary of what's life been like for you in the African rainforest, <laughs> in Gabon and then in Congo, okay. what would you say? Paris has one. Go for it. Crazy comedy. Crazy comedy. Crazy comedy. I would pick a thriller. I'd say uncontrollable. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would it be? Uh, it'd be a roller coaster then. An unpredictable one. <laughs> So we have comedy, thriller, roller coaster. If you like any of those things, come. In me. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching our video. Bye.